Hi there, thank you for joining me today for this 45 minute full body kettlebell workout. We're gonna be doing three rounds of exercises. Uh, we're gonna be taking 30 seconds of rest between most of the exercises, but we do have some unilateral movements that we're doing, so that just means one side and then the other, and we're not gonna be taking any rest between those, so follow along. Uh, one of the exercises that we're doing is Turkish get-ups. So if you're not familiar with those, I would highly recommend watching a short video on how to do them before starting this. I'll leave a link to one of those in the description below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do so, and let's begin. The first exercise we're going to be doing is a one-arm kettlebell swing. I'm going to alternate between arms, so for every swing, at the top of the motion, let the kettlebell go and grab it with the other hand. If you're not comfortable with letting go of the kettlebell, you can swing for 30 seconds with one arm and then switch arms. I'll let you know when 30 seconds is up. Or you can just do a kettlebell swing with both arms. So you want to make sure that you're leaning forward, hinging at the hips, keeping a nice flat back, and bending your knees. So it's halfway between a squat and a deadlift. Push up with your legs and squeeze your glutes. And your legs should be doing all of the work here. Okay, it's about 30 seconds through, so if you're doing a kettlebell swing with one arm, then go ahead and switch. The most important thing is to keep a nice flat back, so stay conscious of that. Everything from your hips up should be in one straight line the whole time. All right, great job. It's time for our first 30 second rest. Our second exercise is a goblet squat and a forward press. So hold the kettlebell by the sides of the handle at chest height. And when you squat down, you're going to push it straight out in front of you so your arms are parallel to the ground. Squat down low and then bring it back in towards your chest when you come up. Make sure you keep your rib cage tucked in for this. And I really like adding the forward press in because it counterbalances you. So you can get further back into the squat, which makes it easier on your knees because they're not pushed so far forward over your toes. We're gonna be here for one minute. If at any point you find that the forward press is too much for you, just hold the kettlebell at your chest and do a goblet squat without the press. When you are doing the press, make sure you press it straight forward in front of you so your arms are parallel to the ground and then coming straight back into your chest. So don't let it drop down. Knees are directly over the toes in this squat and we're here for one minute. That's great, go ahead and rest for 30 seconds. All right, we're about to start our first set of unilateral movements, so we're not gonna take any rest here between exercises. We're gonna work one side of the body and then the other. So start with the kettlebell in one hand and you'll keep it here for all four exercises and then switch hands and do the same set of four exercises on the other side. Our first exercise is a single leg Romanian deadlift. So the most important thing here is to keep your back nice and flat. Keep your rib cage tucked in and your shoulders down and back. You're going to hold the kettlebell in one hand and lift that same leg off of the ground. So if you're holding your kettlebell in your left hand, then your left leg will come up off the ground and vice versa. You want to hinge forward at your hip. So if you're holding the kettlebell in your left hand, you're going to hinge forward on your right hip. Your knee will bend slightly as your left leg comes up off the ground and you slowly lower the kettlebell to the ground. Make sure you maintain that nice flat back. Everything from your left toe up to your head should be in one straight line. And we're here for one minute, just lowering the kettlebell and pulling it back up. Squeezing that right glute. Make sure you keep your hips and shoulders square so both should be parallel to the ground. So either hip should be same height from the ground and same with either shoulder. As you lower the kettlebell to the ground, keep it close to the leg that's on the ground. You don't want it too far out in front of you because that'll put a lot of strain on your lower back and it's unnecessary. Great job with that. Our second unilateral movement is a kneeling overhead press. So keep the kettlebell in the same hand and bring that same knee down to the ground. So if the kettlebell is in your left hand, your left knee should be on the ground. 
Begin with a kettlebell resting on your shoulder with your hand at about eye level. You want to keep your rib cage tucked in as well as your tailbone, so squeeze your glutes and squeeze your abs. From here, you're just going to lift the kettlebell straight overhead. You want to make sure that your arm makes contact with the side of your face. Again, making sure that that rib cage stays tucked in, abs are tight, and tailbone is tucked. Next is a plank row, so use a chair, a couch, a table, a step, whatever you have available, just to elevate your body a little bit. You want to be in a plank position on your hand, and the opposite hand is rowing, so keep the kettlebell again in the same hand that it's been in for the past two exercises. Keep your shoulders square, so they should both be the same height from the ground, and row up to your rib cage, pulling your elbow back toward the ceiling. Make sure you maintain a nice plank position here so your abs are tight and your hips are tucked. Don't let your hips come up. Our last unilateral movement is a Turkish get up. This is really a full body movement, but we're going to do it first holding the kettlebell in one hand. So we're gonna call it unilateral. Like I said in the intro, I highly recommend that you look up how to do a Turkish get up before you attempt it. If a Turkish get up isn't your thing, that's totally fine. Just hold the kettlebell straight overhead, again, making contact with the side of your face and your arm and lunging back with the opposite leg, then come back to standing and just do some reverse lunges here, all the while holding the kettlebell overhead. We're here for one minute total. Great job with that. This concludes one side, and now we're doing all of those same exercises on the other side of the body. So hold the kettlebell in the other hand, and we're starting with a single leg Romanian deadlift, keeping the entire body in one straight line. The working leg is on the opposite side of the body that you're holding the kettlebell. So if the kettlebell's in your right hand, your left leg is on the ground working. Hinge forward at that hip with a slight bend in the knee as your opposite leg comes off the ground and keeping that in line with the rest of your body. It's as though somebody's pulling your hips back, so you wanna keep the kettlebell very close to that working leg, not too far out in front because that can put a lot of strain on your lower back. Keep your back nice and straight here and your shoulders back and down. Shoulders should be square, so the same distance from the ground as one another, and your hips should also be square. Bring the kettlebell as close to the ground as you can without compromising your form, and then use that working glute and hamstring to pull yourself back up. So your body is like a seesaw on this working leg. Everything's staying in one nice straight line the entire time. And that left leg doing all of the work. Great job with that. Coming into our next unilateral movement, so keep the kettlebell in the same hand and kneel down to the ground for the kneeling overhead press. Whichever side the kettlebell is in, that same knee is on the ground. Keep your rib cage tucked in, tailbone tucked, abs tight, and start with your hand at eye level. Push the kettlebell up overhead, keeping your shoulder up until your arm makes contact with the side of your face, and then lowering it again so that your hand is at eye level. Awesome job, coming back into a plank row on that other side. So keep the kettlebell in the same hand, use that elevated surface, whether it's a chair or a table or a step, and get into a nice plank position on your opposite hand. So keep the hips tucked, abs tight, so your body's in one nice straight line, and you're rowing up with the opposite hand. Make sure you keep your shoulders square, same height from the ground as one another, and elbow to the sky rowing all the way up to your rib cage, and then extending your arm until your elbow is straight all the way back down. Okay, you're doing great. This is our last unilateral movement in this set. We're doing a Turkish getup on the other side now. So keep the kettlebell in the same hand, and if you prefer not to do a Turkish getup, you can always just keep the kettlebell overhead, arm in contact with your face, and doing a reverse lunge. So whichever side the kettlebell is in, the opposite leg is stepping backwards into a lunge. If you're doing the Turkish get up, start by lying on your side. Whatever side you're holding the kettlebell in should be towards the ground. And then you're rolling up onto your back, pushing the kettlebell into the sky, and then propping yourself up on your elbow. Again, push into the ground and make sure there's a lot of space in your shoulder, not sinking into that shoulder. Nice flat back here, then coming up onto your hand, sweeping your leg through to kneeling, all the while keeping a nice flat back and that kettlebell straight up into the sky. Coming up onto your knee, arm at the side of your face, swing your foot around into a nice lunge position, and come up to standing, then reversing the position. There's a lot going on in this movement, so again, if you're not comfortable with it, don't worry, just do the reverse lunges while holding the kettlebell overhead the whole time. Great job with all of those unilateral movements. Take a nice rest here. Our 
next movement is a dead bug. So you're gonna be lying on your back for this. This is for your abs. Hold the kettlebell overhead and you're gonna extend your legs and arms at the same time and then bring them all back together. For this, you really wanna make sure that you keep your lower back on the ground to protect it. That's the most important thing. So if this is too difficult, just extend one leg at a time, then bring everything back together and then extend the other leg with the arms and just switch which leg you extend each rep. We're here for one minute and this is all in the abs. You should feel a nice contraction here. Great job with that and go ahead and rest for 30 seconds. Our next exercise is a snatch. So similar to the single arm kettlebell swing, you're gonna swing it up, but after you swing it up, catch it at about eye level, just like how we start our kneeling overhead press. You also wanna bend your knees just to keep your knees protected. And then you're gonna finish by pressing that kettlebell overhead. Again, bringing your arm to the side of your face. And then swing it forward, straight into another kettlebell swing. This movement takes a little bit of time to get used to, so don't worry if it's not super smooth right away. Just keep practicing, and the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. Just make sure that you're maintaining a nice flat back, hinging forward at the hips and bending those knees. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing on the other side. So regular single arm kettlebell swing. And at the top of the motion, you're gonna bring it in towards your face, bend your elbow and your knees, and then squat, press it up overhead. Arm comes to the side of your face. Rib cage is tucked in, hips tucked under, ending with a straight elbow and shoulder raised. Nice, powerful position here. Swing it back through into another rep. Up, catch it and bend your elbow and knees and then push overhead. Great job, go ahead and take another 30 second rest. Our second to last exercise is an overhead swing. So same as a regular kettlebell swing, you're just swinging it further until it's all the way overhead. Feel the balance there and then come back through. So a nice half squat, half deadlift position, starting out, nice flat back and knees tracking directly over the toes. Use the glutes and hamstrings and give a nice powerful push through the legs to swing it all the way up overhead. Keep your rib cage tucked in and your tailbone tucked under as the kettlebell swings up Feel that nice powerful position there and then let it swing back down, keeping your back nice and flat through into another rep. We're going to be here for one minute. Coming to the end of this one minute, when the timer goes off, you're going to swing the kettlebell up overhead and hold it there for 10 seconds. Ready, and swing up, and hold. Keep the ribs in, keep the tailbone tucked in, shoulders up, feel this nice strong position. Feel the balance there, just for a few more seconds, and then go ahead and let it swing back down. Awesome job with that, and we have a 30 second rest now. Our last exercise in this set is a front raise. So you're going to be standing for this. Keep the rib cage tucked in, tailbone tucked under, holding the sides of the kettlebell and you're just going to raise it up with your arms straight out in front of you and then back down. When you raise it up, lean forward slightly. A tendency here is to lean backwards and that's going to bend your back and put a lot of strain on your lower back as well as making the exercise less effective. 
So keep your back nice and flat, lean forward very slightly, and you should feel this all in your shoulders. 30 seconds here. Great job, and that's the end of round one. Rest for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna start the whole thing over again from the beginning. So how are you feeling after that round? We're one round in. Let me know in the comments below. Do you feel energized? Do you feel tired already? Where do you feel like you got the best workout so far? And keep in mind, we have two rounds left. That's 30 more minutes. All right, starting round two, we're going back to a single arm kettlebell swing. Again, if you're not comfortable switching hands every swing, then do it on one side for 30 seconds and then switch halfway through. I'll let you know when 30 seconds is up. Or you could also do a kettlebell swing with both hands. Keep a nice flat back and all of the power is coming from your legs in this. Swing the kettlebell up until your arms are parallel to the ground. One important thing to remember here is for your head to follow in line with the rest of your upper body. So when people squat down, a lot of times they lift their head, which tightens the muscles in the back of the neck. That can cause some discomfort. So keep a nice neutral position with your head the whole time. All right, we're about 30 seconds in. Go ahead and switch arms if you're doing a swing on just one side of the body. Nice flat back. And when you're squatting down, knees are going directly over your toes. Another tendency people have is to push their knees out past their toes to make space for the kettlebell, but it's unnecessary and it can cause some knee pain over time. So keep them right over the toes and a nice explosive movement up, squeezing the glutes at the top of the motion. All right, just a couple more seconds of this and then another 30 second rest. Alright, back to the goblet squat with the forward press. So again, squat down low and push the kettlebell out in front of you as you squat. This will help counterbalance you and help keep you upright and allow you to sink further into the squat. Or if the forward press is too much for you, just hold the kettlebell up by your chest the whole time as you squat. Knees tracking directly over the toes and go as low as you can in this. I also love front squats, so just squatting with a weight in front of you as opposed to on your back because it requires you to use your core a lot more. You're probably feeling it too. Your abs have to work hard to keep your back straight so you don't collapse forward. So keep that back nice and flat, and we're here for a minute. Awesome job, go ahead and rest for another 30 seconds. Okay, coming into our second set of unilateral movements, so we're starting with the single leg Romanian deadlift. Your kettlebell is in one hand, and your other leg is the working leg, so it stays on the ground. For the sake of an example, we'll say the kettlebell is in your left hand, so as you hinge forward on your right leg, your left leg comes off the ground and stays in line with the rest of your body from head to toe. So maintain a nice flat back, rib cage tucked in, tailbone tucked, and shoulders down and back. Keep the kettlebell close to your working leg as you lower it to the ground and lift it up. Just a slight bend in the knee on that working leg, and then squeeze the glute to pull the kettlebell back up. Second, we have kneeling overhead press. So whichever side is holding the kettlebell, bring that knee down to the ground, and we're in a kneeling position here. Start with your hand at eye level, tuck your rib cage in your tailbone, 
Make sure your core is nice and stable and then press straight up overhead. Bring your arm to your face at the top of the motion and then back down to eye level. Repeat this for 30 seconds. All right, next getting into the plank row. So keep that kettlebell in the same hand. Other hand goes onto a chair or a step or a table and you're rowing up to your rib cage, elbow towards the sky, shoulders square and hips tucked. All right, next is the Turkish getup. So again, if you're not comfortable doing a full Turkish getup, just keep the kettlebell overhead, arm making contact with the side of the head, and lunge back with the opposite leg, doing some reverse lunges. And we're doing this for one minute. This is the last unilateral exercise, and then we'll switch sides. Again, no rest between these. Awesome job with round two on that side, going into our second side, starting with the single leg Romanian deadlift. Remember to keep that seesaw position, so everything in one nice straight line except that working leg. Bring the kettlebell down to the ground without compromising your form. Shoulders down and back, nice flat back. And you want to keep that kettlebell close to that working leg, not too far out in front. And whichever leg is on the ground, you're using that glute and hamstring to pull yourself back up into an upright position. We're going to be doing this for one minute. Great job coming into our second side of the kneeling overhead press. Coming down to one knee, tucking the tailbone, squeezing those glutes, tucking the rib cage, squeezing those abs, and keeping your upper body in one nice straight line here. From this upright position, start with your hand at eye level with the kettlebell resting on your upper arm and then pushing it all the way overhead so that your arm makes contact with the side of your face and bringing it back down to the starting position, up and down like this for 30 seconds. Coming into a plank row on the other side, using that elevated surface, gonna do a nice plank position on one hand, while the other hand rows up and down, elbow to the sky, kettlebell all the way up to the rib cage, and then all the way back down till the elbow is fully extended. Keep the shoulders square and the hips tucked, so your body's in one nice straight line. We're here for 30 seconds. All right, and lastly, coming into our Turkish getup. So hold that kettlebell in that same hand for this. If you don't feel like doing a Turkish getup, just push the kettlebell overhead, keep the arm in contact with the side of the face, and keep it here while you do reverse lunges with the opposite foot, lunging backwards. Again, this is a very complex movement. It's a great full body workout, but it's a lot to remember. So maybe you don't want to try it this time around. Try practicing it on your own, and you can always do it next time. If you are doing the Turkish get-up this time, more power to you. Awesome job again with all of those unilateral movements. Go ahead and take a 30 second rest. Next. 
next we're getting into our dead bug. So again, you're lying on your back for this. Hold the kettlebell overhead and get your feet off of the ground. You can either extend everything at once and then bring it all back together, or extend one leg at a time, bring everything together, then extend the other leg with the arms and bring it all together. Whatever you decide, just make sure that your lower back stays on the ground the entire time. That'll help protect it, keep those abs tight, otherwise it can cause strain in the lower back and your abs aren't working as hard. So really contract those abs and use them to keep your lower back down. This is one of my favorite ab exercises. It can be done with or without weight, so if this kettlebell is too much, just set it to the side and do it without it. That's perfectly fine too. Alright, good job. Rest for 30 seconds. Coming into our second round of snatch, starting with a single arm kettlebell swing, catching it, bending the knees and the elbows, and bringing your hand to eye height, then squat pressing it overhead, straightening everything with your arm right next to the side of your face in a nice powerful position, and then bringing it back down, swinging through into another single arm kettlebell swing, again catching it by the side of your face and pushing it overhead. Great job, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Swing, catch at eye height, with a slight bend in the knees, then push overhead. 30 seconds here. Awesome job, that's the end of round two for the snatch. Go ahead and rest for another 30 seconds. Next we're doing the overhead swing. So just a regular kettlebell swing all the way up overhead. Feel the balance there and then back through for another rep. Flat back, rib cage tucked, tailbone tucked, pushing through the legs to swing the kettlebell all the way up for one minute. And in a few seconds, we'll swing it up and hold it there for 10 seconds. Feel that nice strong position, rib cage tucked, tailbone tucked, standing up nice and tall here, balancing that kettlebell. And come back down. Great job, 30 seconds rest. And our last exercise in the second set is a front raise. So again, lean forward slightly, keep your rib cage tucked in and your tailbone tucked under you. Hold the sides of the kettlebell and just raise it straight out in front of you till your arms are parallel to the ground. Bring it back down and then you're just gonna raise it up and down like that for 30 seconds. 
Again, make sure your back stays flat. You don't want to lean back on this because it puts strain on your lower back, and then you're not using the appropriate muscles, which makes the exercise ineffective. So keep that rib cage tucked and lean forward slightly as you raise the kettlebell up. 30 seconds here. Great job, end of round two. You're doing great so far. We have one more round, but first, 30 seconds of rest. Okay, last round coming up, starting off with those kettlebell swings. Either do alternating or single arm or both arms. Keeping that back nice and flat, entire upper body in line, including the neck and head. Pushing up through the legs, squeezing your glutes, getting all of the power from your legs. Your arms are just there to hold the kettlebell. Bring it up so your arms are parallel to the ground. And it's about 30 seconds through, so if you're doing a kettlebell swing all on one side, go ahead and switch sides now. You're doing great. Just a few more seconds of this. And that concludes all of the single arm kettlebell swings. Awesome job. Rest here for 30 seconds. Okay, time for our last round of the goblet squat and the forward press, or just the goblet squat if the forward press is too much for you. If you are doing the forward press, make sure that you're pressing it out straight in front of you so your arms are parallel to the ground and not letting it sink down. Get nice and low in that squat. Keep your rib cage tucked in, making sure your abs are nice and tight. Knees are directly over the toes, and you're staying as upright as possible in this. So keep your chest up. This is the last minute of this. Few more seconds here and then we are finished with the goblet squat awesome job rest for 30 seconds before we get into our next exercise Alright, coming into our last round of unilateral movements, starting with the single leg Romanian deadlift. Again, the most important thing is to maintain a flat back, holding the kettlebell in the opposite hand of the working leg. You're going to slowly lower it to the ground, keeping your back flat, shoulders down and back, ribcage tucked in. Your abs should be working hard for this. Keep both hips the same height from the ground, as well as both shoulders. So everything nice and square and feel as though someone's pulling your hips back as you lower the kettlebell to the ground, and then squeezing the glute as you bring it back up. Alright, next is the kneeling overhead press, so come down to one knee, squeeze the rib cage, tuck the tailbone, and press straight overhead. 
bring your arm up to the side of your face, and then back down so that your hand is at eye level. 30 seconds here. This is a full body movement, so you should feel your hamstrings and your glutes working, through to your abs, and all the way up into your shoulders. Thirdly, we have the plank row. So one hand on that elevated surface and the other hand is rowing. Nice plank position here. Don't let the hips come up, keep them tucked. And the shoulders the same height from the ground. 30 seconds of this. And really make sure you're rowing all the way up to your rib cage, elbow to the sky, and then getting full extension, lowering it until your elbow is straight. This is for your lats, so you should really feel your back muscles working. Great job, and now we're getting into our last Turkish getup on this side, or reverse lunges while holding the kettlebell overhead. Either way, keep your shoulders engaged, don't let them sink down, because that can pinch your shoulders, so you want to keep a nice strong position here. Doing this for one minute. Great job with all of that. We're getting into our last set of unilateral movements. So switch sides that you're holding the kettlebell in and we're starting again with the single leg Romanian deadlift. Slight bend in the knee and hinge forward at the hips. Keeping the hips square and the shoulders square and the kettlebell close to your working leg. Your working leg is opposite of the side that you're holding the kettlebell in. So if you're holding the kettlebell in your right hand, your right leg is also coming off the ground and staying in a nice seesaw position with the rest of your body as your working leg slowly lowers you to the ground or as close as you can get without compromising your form and then pulling you back into an upright position. This is our last minute of this. Alright, coming into our last kneeling overhead press. Whichever side you're holding the kettlebell in, that knee comes down to the ground. Tuck your hips under you. Make sure your abs are tight and your rib cage is in the whole time. Start with the kettlebell at eye level and push it overhead. Arm to the side of your face. Back down to eye level and back and forth like this for 30 seconds. All right, and coming on to our last 30 seconds of plank row. So get into a plank position on that elevated surface. Make sure your body's in one nice straight line with the hips tucked and the shoulders square, and then rowing all the way up to the rib cage and all the way down to the elbow is straight. This is our last 30 seconds of this, so make it count. Rowing up, elbow to the sky, and down, full extension. All right, and we're doing our last Turkish get up now, or our last set of overhead reverse lunges. Your choice. We're here for one minute. If you're doing the overhead lunges, make sure that you keep your arm right next to the side of your face the entire time. Not letting that shoulder sink down, keep it up. Great job with that. That was our last set of unilateral movements. Take a nice rest here, and then we'll get into our last few exercises. 
I love unilateral movements because they really challenge your balance and core stability. They're some of my favorite exercises to do. Okay, let's get ready for our last dead bug. Either with or without the kettlebell, whatever is a good challenge for you. Lie on your back and extend your arms and legs and then bring them all back together. If you want, extend one leg in both arms, then bring everything together and then extend the other leg in both arms and then contract. Either way, keeping your lower back on the ground the entire time. Really squeeze those abs, keep them working. This is our last minute of this. Great job with that. Go ahead and rest 30 seconds here. All right, now we're getting into our last set of snatch. So again, single arm swing, catch it at about eye height with a bent elbow and bent knees, and then squat press overhead for 30 seconds. A few more seconds here, and then go ahead and switch sides. Maintaining a nice flat back, swinging through, catching at eye height, squat pressing overhead, ribs tucked in, tailbone tucked under, arm by your face, nice powerful position, 30 seconds. And go ahead and rest, we are done with the snatch. Great job with that. 30 seconds rest, just a couple more exercises to go. it's time for our last set of overhead swings. Keep those knees directly over the toes and push the kettlebell up overhead. All the power is in the legs, nice flat back here. Again, it's very common to push the knees out as you let the kettlebell swing through, but you wanna avoid that because it can cause a lot of strain on your knees. So keep your knees right over the toes. You'll have plenty of space for the kettlebell to come through. This is our last minute here. And a few more seconds left and then we're going to hold the kettlebell overhead. This is our last 10 second hold. Keep everything tucked in in a nice straight line. This is a great power pose for just a few more seconds and then let the kettlebell swing through and down to the ground. Great job, 30 seconds rest and then we'll get into our last exercise. You're almost done.
All right, and we're getting into our last exercise of the entire workout. So we just have 30 seconds of a front raise left. Keep your rib cage tucked in and lean forward slightly as you raise that kettlebell up until your arms are parallel to the ground. And then lower it nice and slow and controlled. And up and down like this just for 30 more seconds. Super important to keep that back flat and not lean back for this. So lean forward slightly as you raise the kettlebell and back to a nice neutral position as you lower it. And that is it for the workout. Awesome job. Way to push through. You just did 45 minutes of a full body kettlebell workout. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you for joining me for this workout. I'll see you in the next video.